So Summers End is about uh, four friends, and do you want me to hold on to it for you? Sure, if you'd like. Yeah. It's about four friends uh, in their final summer before they go to different high schools. So they're splitting up, and uh, they decide, let's focus on the positive and just have one last amazing, epic summer. So we're going to bike, we're going to play baseball, we're going to go swimming, we're going to talk about comics, we're going to finally spend a night in that really creepy, old, abandoned house on a secluded island in the middle of nowhere. And that's a t terrible, terrible idea. It's kind of very similar, actually, to uh, Stranger Things, the Netflix show. So when I was watching that, I had already written the book. Uh, I was noticing a lot of parallels between the show and, and Summer's End. Uh, so I think that if you've watched uh, Stranger Things or, you know, a kid that has that's enjoyed it, they'll really like Summer's End as well. Um, so my inspiration was uh, a mix really of two things. One was a lot of research I've been doing for the Haunted Canada series. Uh, a lot of sanatoriums are haunted today, not too surprising. And uh, so I've done a lot of stories about sanatoriums, a lot of research. Uh, and so there is a abandoned sanatorium in Summer's End. And uh, so I mixed a lot of the research I, I had done for Haunted Canada with um, a lot of uh, things from my own childhood and uh, different things I went through, different thoughts. As I was just talking to some people in line here, um, I never saw a ghost when I was a kid. I didn't stay in a haunted building, and uh, so luckily that didn't happen to me. But uh, just all the fun stuff that the kids are doing was all stuff I loved to do when I was a kid. Uh, well, I wrote the, uh, the most recent three uh, books in the Haunted Canada series, so four, five, and six. Number seven is all done as well and coming out this uh, summer. And uh, before that, my first book was classic. My first book was Be a Writing Superstar. Well, it's pretty amazing that I'm able to find so many. When I took on the job, I thought, I'm going to run out of stories in one or two books. Canada's not that scary a place. It's a nice place to live. But uh, remarkably and thankfully, that hasn't been the case. Uh, Canada is incredibly scary and haunted. There's so many great stories that I found. Mostly uh, starting with internet research, but then I do a lot of... Um, uh, you know, reading books, magazines, newspapers, newspapers it really helps um, being a librarian and having uh, all these great resources uh, so easily accessible to me. So uh, the other thing though that's really cool now is so many people are coming to me and bringing their uh, stories to me, their personal stories that haven't been written about anywhere, have never been covered. So. Uh, a lot of my books now have original stories, true stories that you can't read anywhere else. You won't find it anywhere else.